Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your continued support. In case you are watching us for the first time, please subscribe so that we can grow as a family. Give this video likes and please help us share our videos to all our returning subscribers and all our supporters. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, William Samoy Ruto has caused another storm in the country when he announced to the whole world that he has paid 500 million Kenya shillings. Yes, that's right. I will 500 million Kenya shillings so that Kenya can host the next Granny Awards event. And just before we move on, I want us to try and understand what is this Granny Award because Kenya seems to be divided. There are those who are saying that there is too much money that could have been channeled to other projects that can benefit Kenyans. Now they are saying here that a Granny Award is an annual award that recognizes outstanding work in the music industry. The awards are presented by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Science or the Latin Academy of Recording Arts and Science. It is an international event that recognizes outstanding performance from great musicians in the music industry. So this time round, Kasongo, I love that term, Kasongo. Kasongo is saying that his ambition has placed him there. He wants Kenya to host this event and he has already paid over, that is a half a billion, because 500 million is a half a billion Kenya shillings so that we can host this event. This is how things transpired when Dennis Itumbi was trying to tell William Ruto that there are a few things that we need to look into uh, as you plan to pay this money. And William Ruto told him, we are, not planning to, we are not planning to pay this, we have already paid it. I want you to listen to Dennis and William Ruto telling Kenyans about the Granny Awards. We all appreciate that Nairobi on Sundays has become an open theater where people actually shoot everything. In fact, ahead of Easy there is a gentleman from Grammy Awards and there is also something there you are doing around the Grammy Awards for Africa. And you have actually instructed the State Department to pay so that then the Grammy Awards can be hosted in Kenya. There are few things to unlock and this gentleman has an appointment with you this week to unlock that part. Let me help you, Dennis. Actually, the money for Grammys, we already paid. We are not about to pay. We already, we already, we already paid 500 million shillings to us. And I'm sure the gentleman from Grammys can confirm that that is the direction we are going. What do you think about Ruto's decision to invite the event of the Granny Awards to be hosted in the country? Because the Kisi Senator, Richard Onyonka, feels that just like Adani deal, this is yet another wastage. And this is what Senator Onyoka was saying, that this is bare crazy. This could renovate both Nyayo and Kasarani to CAF and FIFA standards on a record time. Kenya would be struggling to get accreditation to host AFCON or could build a complete level four hospital somewhere in Kenya. So Richard Onyonka feels that this money to the tune of half a billion Kenya shillings shouldn't have been rushed to pay so that we can host Granny Awards. Rather, as Kenya is struggling, because remember there was a time the International uh, Football Federation, FIFA, came and when they looked at our stadia, they felt we were below the standard. And Kenya being a, 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 a football-loving nation, Onyonka feels that we could renovate Kasarani and Nyayo to the standards uh, that will allow even FIFA, even Sekafa, to allow us to conduct these events. And I, I understand where he's coming from. When we host Granny Awards, that money will go, but that event will take place once. But it feels if we decide to renovate our stadium, they will remain in the country. So that is one school of thought. And I don't know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Onyonka is a politician and is looking, I think he is, he is in the finance committee or something. He's been looking and scrutinizing at how the government is using taxpayers' money. Now, the opponents 
of this idea are saying that this is misplaced priority. Like Onyonka is saying that we, we could have even built or constructed another level 4 hospital. Is it level 4? That we could have constructed a very prestigious level 4 hospital somewhere in the country rather than giving it out to such an event. And if you look at those who agree with the Nyonka, they are saying that this is yet another channel of corruption. And they are saying that it is misplaced priority. They say that at a time when interns, doctors, are on the street making noise because they want some increment, they want increment in terms of salary, the, the, the collective bargaining agreement has not been implemented, and they feel no, this is not the right way to do it, this is not the right time. And they're saying that in terms of priorities, this does not sit on top of the other priorities that we would have looked at our internal affairs, ensuring that those who are making noise, civil servants, or those who are going for strike, maybe we pay them, or we construct something that can help us. But the proponents of this idea, like I, I talked to someone who is well informed about the Grand Yawans, and he's saying that those who are speaking against it do not have any authority because they don't understand what Grand Yawan is. But as a layman, I have just read that this is an international recognition recognizing the efforts and the acumen of the best in the music industry. And they are saying that if we host this event, then we need to look at the number of guests that will fill our hotels, that they are going to leave quite a lot of money here, and we are going to get over and above what we have deposited with the, with, with the, the, the organizers of the Granny Awards. They are also saying that we need to look at the international exposure that Kenya will stand top. All the international media will be reflecting Kenya. They will be talking about Kenya, the CNN, the Al Jazeera. And that international recognition is something that William Ruto really wants. You know William Ruto with, the, with that kind of recognition, talking about climate change. He was the first president to host the African Climate Summit. He's been recognized, especially when Joe Biden was in power. So he's a man who loves, you know, to be recognized. He feels it's an accolade when you're being recognized internationally. And you know, many people are very funny. Some are even thinking that there's another ploy that William Bruto is using to look for market for his hotel, West, Western Hotel, because he feels that when guests come to the country, they will look for the best hotels. And one of the best hotels, I understand, I've never been to Western, I understand that Western now, especially ever since William Bruto ascended to power, is one of the best. It's, it's been lifted. It has been first lifted and it is now, it stands out as one of the best. And I don't know. And I just want you to share with me your thoughts because economically some people feel that this is not our priority. This is waste, wasteful. We needed to channel this money somewhere. But others are saying, no, let us look at the bigger picture. We need to expose Kenya. We need to host such an event. And I don't know. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just highlighting this so that I can also get your thoughts because... Kenyans are divided over this and I don't want to take a stand on this because I've tried to talk to the pros and the, the, the opponents of this and they are really, really divided and I'm not an expert on this. But if you ask me if I were in Ruto's shoes personally, I wouldn't have channeled it to the Grand Awards. I would have done other things. But as always, William Ruto with his economic advisors, maybe David D, they, they, they reached a point after consultation that this is the best Kenya can have. I don't know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please share with me in the comment section. If you have watched this to this level, don't go without subscribing, without liking this video, and without sharing. If you can, thank you very much. Let's meet you in another video.